Member of Parliament for South Dai, Roxon Nelson Dafiameko, had filed an injunction seeking to restrain Parliament from vetting and approving new ministers, as well as reshuffled ministers given various portfolios. He was praying the court to deem the action by President Akufuadu as unconstitutional. But when the case was called, the South Dai MP together with his lawyer, Nick Pakpo Samwa Adu, were both absent. Events took an interesting turn when the five-member panel, chaired by the Chief Justice, Getri Tokonu, stood down the hearing for about 10 minutes to ascertain the details of documents submitted by the court bailiff. The bailiff had indicated that in his quest to serve court processes to the Speaker of Parliament and Roxon Nelson Dafemepo, he was refused service. Joshua Benning narrated to the courts that a hearing notice and affidavit in opposition documents which were sent to the law firm of representatives of Roxon Nelson Dafemepo were rejected because an order had been made by the lawyer, Ni Papu Samwa Ado, not to receive any service. The Chief Justice then ordered for the hearing of the case to progress after the bailiff confirmed that the Speaker of Parliament had duly been served and he had also left the court documents at the premises of the plaintiff's law firm. Attorney General Godfrey Dame then described actions by the plaintiff's lawyer as the highest form of disrespect to the apex court and as professional misconduct and called for the dismissal of the suit. Responding to the suit, Thadio Sori, counsel for the Speaker of Parliament, also opposed to the injunction application explaining it did not satisfy the requirements for an injunction to be granted. Ruling on the matter, the Apex Court dismissed the injunction application by Roxon Nelson Dafemepo with the reason that the suit was against minister nominees whose names have not been submitted. The Chief Justice then took the opportunity to address some recent concerns about the court taking too long to deal with political cases. She explains parties tend to file cases and fail to follow through with it, adding that the court cannot be blamed. Pleased with the outcome of the Apex Court decision, Attorney General Godfrey Ibordame shut down assertions that the Supreme Court picks and chooses which cases should take precedence on hearing. Back in the days, if we file an application in the Supreme Court of Ghana, it takes even three months for you to have a date for hearing. It is only after a party has made an application for an expeditious determination of the, of the process that the matter will come up for hearing. And indeed, in, in the record, we showed that this particular case for the record, it must be indicated that I specifically applied for an expedition determination of the, of the matter. I, I applied for an expedited hearing of the application. The Attorney General, meanwhile, says he expects Parliament to approve the nominees as soon as possible. Lord Edward Sari, TV3 News, Supreme Court.